Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. Hello everyone, this is Celine from TurkishClass101.com and I'm back here again with another top words video. Today we're going to talk about 10 phrases to help you in emergency. Polisarayın. Call the police. Polisarayın. Polisi arayın. Call the police. Call the police. So, you should know uh, which number to call in Turkey if you want to call the police, right? I think I said this before though, but let me repeat again. It's 155. 155 to call the police in Turkey. Don't forget. Ateşin var mı? Do you have a fever? Ateşin var mı? Ateşin var mı? Do you have fever? So, in case of any sickness or illness, then you need to at least know some basic sentences to explain your condition, right? Uh, so, you can say, Evet, ateşin var? As an answer to this question, because if somebody asks you, like, do you have fever, ateşin var mı? You can say, evet, var, means, yes, I have. And, if you already measured your fever, you can continue like this. Evet, var, ateşim, my fever is, let's say, 38 derece. Derece, it's the measure we use for the fever. So, yes, I have, evet, var, ateşim 38 derece. My fever is 38. My fever is 38 degree. Pasaportumu kaybettim. I lost my passport. Pasaportumu kaybettim. Pasaportumu kaybettim. I lost my passport. Oh no, what you should do. So, if you, if you lose your passport in any foreign country, the first thing you need to do is to search for the embassy of your country, right? So, if you want to ask someone, how can I go to the embassy, then how you will ask, let me teach you. Let's say you're from England, okay? And you're talking with a Turkish person, so you ask like this. Pasaportumu kaybettim. İngiliz konsolosluğu nerede? Nerede means where is. Konsolosluk means embassy. And of course it depends on your country. Then first you need to put your country name and then konsolosluğu nerede? And let's say you're from Japan. Japon konsolosluğu nerede? Pasaportumu kaybettim. Sanırım bozulmuş bir şey yedim. I think I ate something bad. Sanırım bozulmuş bir şey yedim. Sanırım bozulmuş bir şey yedim. I think I ate something bad. Like expired food, right? So, where is the closest hospital, right? Okay. So, if you feel bad, then you can become really sick, right? So, you should go doctor. You should see a doctor. You should visit a hospital. Then, how do you ask, where is the closest hospital? Let's, let's try to give an example about it. Sanırım bozulmuş bir şey yedim. En yakın hastane nerede? En yakın means closest. Hastane, hospital, is where, nerede? Doktora ihtiyacım var. I need a doctor. Doktora ihtiyacım var. I need a doctor. <laughs> I need a doctor. So, I mean, I hope it doesn't happen ever, but sometimes we have some accidents, right, on the roads. And some people are really badly injured. And that time, you will see round the other people will scream like this. Doktor yok mu? Doktor yok mu? Means, is there any doctor here? Like that. Doktor yok mu? Otelime geri dönüş yolunu bulamıyorum. I can't find the way back to my hotel. Otelime geri dönüş yolunu bulamıyorum. 
otelime geri dönüş yolunu bulamıyorum. I can't find the way back to my hotel. In Turkey, we have many streets, many roads, and sometimes it's not very uh, planned. How should I say? Like not very well organized. So it might be a bit easy for you to get lost. In that case, I think it's better to have a hotel cart before you leave your hotel. So ask your hotel to give you a hotel cart. How do you ask? Otelin kartı var mı? Means, do you have the hotel cart? Otelin kartı var mı? Or, can I have one? Can I have the hotel cart? Otelin kartını alabilir miyim? Otelin kartı means hotel's cart. Yakınlarda eczane var mı? Is there a pharmacy nearby? Yakınlarda eczane var mı? Yakınlarda eczane var mı? Is there a pharmacy nearby? Normally we have many pharmacies like everywhere in Turkey. But let's say you feel sick at night, right? That time what you will do in Turkey. So in Turkey, uh, in the neighborhoods, like we have night pharmacy for emergency situations. So you need to know the night pharmacy and you can go there and get your medicine uh, even though it's very late at night. We call them in Turkish nöbetçi eczane. Nöbetçi eczane means like night pharmacy. And let's say you're trying to find a night pharmacy. You want to ask someone. Nöbetçi eczane nerede? Where is the night pharmacy? Bana yardımcı olabilir misiniz? Can you help me? Bana yardımcı olabilir misiniz? Bana yardımcı olabilir misiniz? Can you help me? <gülüyor> can you help me? I'm lost. <gülüyor> so you can ask someone, of course, can you help me? Bana yardımcı olabilir misiniz? But then uh, probably they will say, sure, but about what? So, Probably you will hear this. Tabi. Ne konuda? Or hangi konuda? About what? And then you can just tell your problem. Like uh, I got lost or I'm searching this or like whatever you want to say. Kayboldum. I am lost. Kayboldum. <laughs> Kayboldum. I'm lost. Oh my god. I'm lost. Doktor yok mu? Where is doctor? <laughs> so, when you're lost, what you should do? I think it's better to find a police station close by, right? So, maybe they can call your hotel or your friends. Mm, so, try to ask someone where is the closest police station. Uh, police station is polis merkezi or karakol in Turkish. And nerede is where is. Closest is en yakın. So now let's make a sentence. En yakın karakol polis merkezi nerede? Ambulansa ihtiyacım var. I need an ambulance. Ambulansa ihtiyacım var. Ambulansa ihtiyacım var. I need an ambulance. If you're really bad that, that you're... Really, I mean, you need an ambulance that bad. Then you can say someone, please someone call an ambulance, right? This is, I think, more natural in Turkish, more common to use. Like, someone call an ambulance, please, like that. So you say, Biri ambulans çağırsın. Biri ambulans çağırsın, lütfen. Lütfen means please. And biri ambulans çağırsın means call an ambulance. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're planning to travel to Turkey, I'm sure these phrases, sentences will be very, very useful for you. So please don't forget to subscribe our channel and comment down below. Also, if you want to learn Turkish more, visit our website, turkishclass101.com. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.